Have you ever thought about how to turn a simple rack of ribs into a mouth-watering masterpiece using just your oven? Today, I'm going to reveal the secrets to achieving perfectly tender, flavor-packed ribs that will have everyone asking for seconds. It doesn't matter if you don't have a grill, or if you can't use a smoker in your apartment, or you just want to enjoy ribs year-round, this recipe is for you. With just a few simple ingredients and a little patience, you can create a dish that will impress your family and friends. So let's dive in and get started. Living in Florida, I've had my fair share of barbecues ruined by rain. There's nothing worse than watching a perfectly planned cookout turn into a soggy disaster. Don't worry, oven baked ribs are here to save the day. This method is a game changer for those without outdoor grills or when mother nature decides to throw a tantrum. Trust me, these ribs are so delicious that you might just find yourself doing a rain dance for an excuse just to make them. This recipe focuses on pork ribs, but you can also use beef ribs or lamb ribs, each offering a unique flavor. Cooking times may vary based on the type and the size of the ribs, so keep an eye on your meat thermometer. I have a video dedicated to smoking ribs on a charcoal smoker, so stay tuned until the end for a link to that video. And while you're here, don't forget to like and subscribe. Your support helps the channel grow. Now, let's get started on preparing these ribs, beginning with the seasoning step. You will begin by removing the membrane from the back of the ribs. This step is important for both pork baby back and St. Louis style ribs. Place the ribs bone side up on a cutting board. Use a butter knife or your fingers to lift a corner of the membrane at one end. Grip it with a paper towel and peel it off slowly. If it tears, continue removing it piece by piece until the entire back is exposed. Next, let's prepare the dry rub, and you have two options. One option is to make a homemade rub yourself. Combine paprika, brown sugar, garlic powder, and salt as your base. You can add black pepper, onion powder, cumin, or cayenne to customize the flavor to your liking. Option number two is a store-bought rub. Today, I'll be using a store-bought rub to demonstrate how easy it can be. Whichever option you choose, apply the rub generously. Sprinkle it evenly over one side of the ribs, pat it into the meat, covering all areas, including the sides and between the bones. Flip the rack and repeat on the other side. For the best flavor, apply the rub several hours before cooking or the night before. This allows the flavors to penetrate the meat. If you're short on time, applying it just before cooking will still work well. As you apply the rub, you'll notice the meat glistening. This is the salt drying out the moisture, which helps the spices adhere and creates a tasty crust during cooking. Now that our ribs are seasoned, let's get them cooking using the 3-2-1 method. Preheat your oven to 225 degrees Fahrenheit or 107 degrees Celsius. Place the seasoned ribs on a baking sheet, meat side up, and bake uncovered for three hours. The slow temperature allows the connective tissues to break down slowly, resulting in tender ribs. After three hours, remove the ribs from the oven. Wrap each rack tightly in aluminum foil and a little liquid like apple juice or beer to keep them moist. Return the wrapped ribs to the Oven and bake for another two hours. This step helps tenderize the meat further. During the cooking process, resist the urge to open the oven frequently as it can let out heat and extend cooking times. Trust the process for the best results. For the final hour of the 3 2 1 rib cooking method, it's time to finish and glaze the ribs. Carefully unwrap the ribs, being cautious of the hot steam. The ribs should look tender and may have shrunk slightly, which is normal. Choose your favorite barbecue sauce, whether it's tangy, sweet, or homemade. Use a basin brush to generously coat both sides of the ribs, ensuring you've covered all areas. Place the sauce ribs back onto the baking sheet, uncovered. Bake for the final hour. This step will help caramelize the sauce and create a sticky glaze. Keep an eye on the ribs during the last hour. The sauce should bubble and start to darken at the edges. Ensure it doesn't burn. Once the hour is up, remove the ribs from the oven and let them rest for about five minutes. This allows the glaze to set and makes the ribs easier to cut. Before serving the ribs, you're gonna have to slice them. So go ahead and flip the rack bone side up and use a sharp knife to cut between the bones and then serve the ribs with your favorite sides. Now that you've seen how simple it is to create restaurant quality ribs at home, what unique spice blend or sauce will you experiment with? Let me know in the comments. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more smoking tips and tricks. For those hungry for more, check out the playlist at the end of this video. It's packed with charcoal grilling and smoking recipes for everything from chicken and ribs to burgers and steaks. For even more jewel-worthy recipes, head over to smokybeginnings.com. I left a link in the description. And if you'd like to support the channel and fuel my caffeine addiction, you'll find a link for that below too. Until next time, keep those fires burning and those taste buds tingling. Have a good one.